Well, Gaffer, here we are. The first game of the season is approaching. How excited are you to get underway properly? Yeah, I can't wait. It's been um, obviously the, the summer in the building of doing it um, and then obviously the pre-season and you do get to the point in pre-season where you've, you've done your fitness stuff, you're playing your games, but you get to that point where you don't want the, the real stuff to start. Um, it's obviously going into the unknown as well, um, so you've got that nervous feeling about it, but I'm really confident in the work that we've done and um, feel like we're prepared right for the game ahead. Um, obviously, we've just got to go out and perform now. Just speaking on pre-season, for you, do you think it could have done? It could have gone much better? I think the last week of it was a little bit of a disappointment for me. I, I, I felt like we could have played better against Gillingham. Um, people probably have said to me that they felt, felt that we played OK, but I was a little bit more critical of it. I felt we could have done better. Um, and then obviously Tuesday against Northwood was tough with a younger group of boys, but um, it's, my, it's my job to help them younger boys as well for them experiences and stuff like that. So that was Tuesday night we spoke about it, and then it was dropped as of Wednesday coming into training today. Um, but overall for pre-season, the... Uh, the main aims of getting out here was obviously the, making sure that we had a good environment for them to work in, that they, they worked incredibly hard with and without the ball, um, which they're doing, and then build, building that togetherness. That's only the first part of it, but we certainly feel like we ticked off some things. Um, but then obviously that grows across the season as well, so that's leading into that first game. I'm sure you'd agree that losing the number of players that we have lost and then the number that have been bought in can be challenging for any club. But how has the squad come together leading into Saturday? Yeah, look, that's my most in, important thing. You know, I know people wanted probably a little bit of change. I know I understand that and understand, understand the reasons why, but it's me trying to make the right decisions and, and the right movements that we've done. And obviously then you get judged on the, the, the work that you've done. But the, the biggest part of that, it, the turnover, is making sure that the, the togetherness is there and the team spirit's there. Um, probably takes a little bit more work in with and without the ball sort of things you've got to work on, which will probably go out through over the season. But we've had... Really fortunate to have you know five weeks of that intensive work to be able to go go with them um, leading into the season. But yeah, it's always difficult. There's been some players that have left the football club that have done really well for the football club, and I'm sure people are gutted that they left. There's others that they maybe felt that the time was right for both ways for both uh, player and club. Um, but we're really positive about the the members that stayed and the ones that we brought in. What they brought in, they've all brought their own qualities in. They've all. Um, got their own experiences and coming for different reasons. Um, that's something we've looked at over the course of the summer. Um, so now it's just them coming together as a team and obviously performing on a Saturday and a Tuesday. Heading into the weekend then, how have preparations gone? Yeah, good. We've um, we had the, obviously the game against Gillingham on Saturday um, and then we had everyone in together on a Monday. Tuesday was a stop with um, two groups, different ones playing, ones in, and then coming in today on a Thursday and then we're going to travel up tomorrow and train on the way up as well. So. Yeah, the preparation is there. You f we feel like we're there. We feel like as a as a staff, we've we've tried giving them everything they would need. Um, we can always give them more. We're always working hard to give them more information and to try and make them ready. But um, I just feel like uh, they're ready to play now. And I'm sure I'm sure it's the same for all Trinum and every everyone else in this league. You get to the point in the preseason where you just want to get going now. Every team would be the same. And um, we're all stepping into the unknown. We all probably think we've done well over the summer. We all probably think that we've recruited well or we've got certain feelings and it really starts showing in the, in the opening weeks of the season. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to the game. We feel like we're prepared and um, we're looking forward to it. Just uh, speaking of our opponents, it must be a little bit harder to know what to expect at this stage. Is it more about what we can do as a team? Yeah, I think we've just got to focus on us. Um, you know, I'm very respectful of the job that they've done at Altrincham. You know, the last few years coming up from being... Um, getting promoted out of the National North, um, then coming up, being part-time, that progression that they've now turned into a full-time football club and probably that's meant they've had a, a turnover of players and things like that because going from part-time to full-time footballers, some have jobs and things like that. So that's been, you know, as a football club growing together and obviously the manager wanting to do that as well. Um, and look, they're a talented group of players, um, certainly respectful of the, the threats that they've got and the way they play. Um, but yeah, we've got to focus... Early part of the season, we've got to focus on ourselves. You know, we've not seen them over pre-season uh, pre games. You know, they've been playing, so have we. Um, you haven't got that build-up of the National League games, knowing loads about each other and formations. And we have an idea, and I'm sure they have an idea about us. But, um, yeah, focus on ourselves. Be respectful of them, like we're going to be with every opponent we come up against. Um, but concentrate on what we can do on the day and hope that on the day, if we're right at it and we're as good as we can be, then we'll be a match for most teams we play against. Speaking about ourselves, what do you expect to see come 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon? Just a team that's ready to go. Want want to be out there. I'm um yeah I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's always that lead into the game this week, leading into it sort of as a change and feeling, um, leading into this week. And I know what I'll be like come quarter three on 
Saturday when they're out doing the warm ups, you know, I'll be that nervous stage. But come three o'clock, I just want them to go out and play. And um, yeah, look, as long as they go out, I've said it from the when I've come back, you and the fans can see them doing the right things, trying to play in the right way, representing the club with and without the ball, the way they're getting after people and working hard for each other. Then you hope by performing and doing all them things that brings a result. Sometimes it won't, but we're hopeful on this this weekend. If we do all them things and it all comes together, then we can get a positive result. Um, but we also know that Ultra will be thinking the same thing as well. But we've just got to concentrate on ourselves, look forward to the game. Um, grateful for whoever's travelling up to come and support us. Really am because it's the first one up there, and we know we're having to go the day before because of problems with trains and stuff like that. Um, but I want to get off to a good start, so that leads into obviously the first home game the following Saturday. Just mentioned the fans. I'm sure it will take a few good numbers to grow to Manchester. How important are they going to be to the team's success for well, this Saturday and for the rest of the season? It's huge. Honestly, so big. To, and it has been really whatever success we hopefully have is going to be as a collective. It's going to be everyone at the football club. All the stuff that's gone on over the summer to sort of turn a bit more positivity around the football club. I really feel it's there. The backing from the owners, you know, some of them are in America, but having the fans for them last night, getting that connection again with the fans. Um, and now it's our job as as the staff and the players that are front and central of it. We've got to go and perform on the football pitch because all the good feelings and all the, the encouragement and all the positivity around the club, if we do well, that will only grow. And that's what our job is, to give them something to cheer about, something to be proud of ultimately. If they're travelling to Ultra and they want to be on the way back talking about how well we played and what we did rather than going home negative. You know, They don't want every football fan wants to be positive about their club. They want to see the good things that the players are doing. So... That's what we've got to try and do Saturday, try and do that together. Really, like I'm saying, grateful for whoever is travelling up. Um, really am hoping that we have a positive result so then that leads into South End the following week where, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that in terms of an atmosphere and, you know, probably being my first game really as manager here where hopefully I'm going to see a real big bumper crowd, everyone excited for the game. But, um, you know, we've got to be respectful and know that it's going to be a tough test against Ultramarine to start with. Um, and, yeah, I'm looking forward to it.